they tend to endure throughout sleep, especially deep sleep, stage three sleep. Now, you can see platform discharge in any lobe per se, but it's quite common in temporal lobe. Temporal lobe epilepsy uh, is known to have, you know, interectal epileptiform discharge. So this is actually the most common type of epilepsy. So that's probably why you see a lot of temporal discharge. And it's truly more epileptogenic. If you were to see a frontal lobe discharge versus a temporal, probably temporal lobe discharge is more epileptogenic, and it's highly associated with temporal lobe epilepsy. So this is a bipolar montage, left, uh, left temporal, right temporal, showing rather abundant epileptiform discharge. You could argue these are probably spikes. They have after coming slow wave, and in the EEG in between is also showing some abnormality, some slowing as well. So these are abundant epileptiform discharge in the left temporal chain. And one thing about this discharge is also that it's more than two electrodes, and you do see some voltage gradient or asymmetry uh, in that same region. So if you were to throw this in a special uh, in a referential montage, you could appreciate where it's maximal. And it's actually maximal at T1 midline, t left midline temporal derivations. This is a, an example of a right temporal discharge. Perhaps this is a sharp wave. One other characteristic with these uh, sharp waves is actually the upstroke and the, the, the downstroke, the slope tends to be steep and it goes below the baseline, and you also see some slowing. So in addition to this, seeing these spikes or sharp waves, you do see other abnormalities, commonly focal slowing in that region. This is uh, actually a posterior, it looks like a posterior temporal discharge seen in a patient with actually a periventricular, periventricular heterotopia in the right uh, hemisphere seen in this uh, coronal T1 weighted image. This is actually the heterotopia. You can appreciate it, uh, you know, in the axial image as well here. So this is a patient whom I recently saw with temporal lobe epilepsy. She has this rather long run of TERDA, temporal intermittent rhythmic delta activity that comes and goes. And it's, us it's commonly associated with temporal lobe epilepsy. This patient has actually evidence of uh, MTS in the right uh, hippocampus, and her pet was, you know, very profoundly hi showed hypermetabolism over the right uh, temporal lobe as well. Now, unlike temporal lobe, frontal lobe epilepsies are notorious for not having interectal epileptiform discharge. It's just because the way uh, the the way we are placing the electrodes, and not only interectal discharge, 